hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. I, I'm not on a stick. No, you're not, dude. TNT, D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T. What's you're, up, Jonas? Nothing, dude. You're forgetting what we're doing. <laughs> we're not recording YouTube videos. We're doing a podcast, friend. Dude, that is, that is behind the curtains, man. This is live. This, this is, is live. not. This is not pre-recorded. This is dichotomy. This, this what we got going on. Yeah. Me and him, we see in here. Yeah, That's if you can't shit. see it, then you should be watching it. <laughs> <laughs> well, so we want to thank you all for checking us out today. If you're watching us live, twitch.tv forward slash crazy town media live. Also live on YouTube Mixer, Periscope, some other places. Make sure you check us out. Periscope? Yeah, dude, Periscope. It's right. like, uh, you, I think that's used for like live streaming your life. Like you like walk around like, hey guys, I'm in Walmart. Look at me. Do you ever check our Periscope page? Oh no. I mean, I literally <laughs> did it because I could stream in all those places. All right. So, uh, but yeah, but if, uh, if you'd rather not watch us live, of course on Spotify and iTunes, not long after this is done, it will be ready for you to watch or listen to, I guess in that case. And of course, as you can see below, crazytown.com is our website and crazy town media on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, your mom's house. <laughs> what, All dude? these different places. Yeah, dude. If you want to go to your mom's house, just type Crazy Town you've Media got, into YouTube. You've got the whole world as your oyster. Dude, I love oysters. Periscope. It is not the craziest news week. <laughs> yeah, I mean, some shit, ha some shit happened today, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, first off, uh, our hearts and prayers out to the people in Colorado. I just heard the story when. Oh I, yeah, school shooting. I, I don't yeah. think anybody died, but people were injured. Yeah. I mean, it's bad enough. I mean, yeah. regardless. It was yeah. like a school that did like from kindergarten to high school. So it was, yeah, it's at a STEM school. I don't know exactly what that is. That was just the name of it. Oh okay, I got you. I but thought it was still, like it's oh. still unfortunate, you know. So we usually do rock paper scissors to determine who will go first, but we actually have the same story. So let's uh, we can talk about that. All right. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Do Xbox it? Live. Yep. The toxicity capital of the USA's <laughs> why internet. You, why do you look at me when you say the toxicity How, how many people at this table have been banned from Xbox Live for uh, inappropriate behavior? I mean, how many times are we talking? Here? Any. Any? Any. Any time? Any time. Come on, man. All right, less than 10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now you're just I think you should. I think you should read this article. You want me to read it? All right. I, no, I, I, no, for oh. your own personal gain. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so they updated their community standards. For trash talking yeah. on the interwebs. Well, it was a whole bunch of shit that they had. Well, there. yeah. Like but... you couldn't make coats. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't make a club about selling drugs. Wait a second. Hold on a second. My, a uh, my, my Little Pony cult. Your game My Little Pony is cult. gone now? They, they disbanded one, it? Name one My Little Pony. Uh, The Boy Pony. You didn't even say Rainbow Dash. Oh, wow. What is wrong Can't with bear you? stare, bro. <laughs> so. How could you not say Rainbow Dash? I, I the, guess I've lost my luster for the ponies, she's dude. She's the hottest one. Is she the brony? Dude, just, just keep going. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, so Microsoft provides examples of what is acceptable trash talk when you're playing a game with your peers or your non-peers or your brethren or your friends, family, <laughs> sisters, or strangers. No, it's just people over Xbox Live. Oh, okay. Anyone. It says... Trash talk is described as any lighthearted banter or bragging that focuses on the game at hand and encourages healthy competition. No, no, no. They even went as far as to give us great examples of what trash talking is. Oh, Jones, you have a few of those. So should I tell should I tell them what the example they gave is and then you tell them the example that you should not use? Yeah, let's do that. I okay. like that idea. I like the that first idea. example. Mm -hmm. Get destroyed. Can't believe you thought you're on my level. That's <laughs> that's acceptable. That's what you should say to a man who you just owned in a game. And what you should not say is get sexual threat. Can't believe <laughs> he thought you're on my level. So what do you do? Go like I'm gonna take what? you into the back room and force myself on you. Yeah. Get on my level. Well, no, that's like you don't talk about the act of the rape. You just say rape. <laughs> oh, you don't like, want to say rape. On oh, so like on Xbox Live, people are like, I'm gonna are you? No, they're like, dude, get raped because they raped you. Oh, do you not understand the terminology oh, I get of, the, it. Okay. of the gamers? Yeah, I guess not, dude. This is gamer know. language. Didn't know there was virtual R in there. Yeah, dude. 
All right, the second one. Yep. That was some serious potato aim. <laughs> Get wrecked. That's what you should say. And you shouldn't say, hey, profanity. I don't know. If you can just insert anyone oh, in okay. there. That was that was some potato aim. Get wrecked, trash. So you can't. So you can't say trash. You can say trash, I think. No, that, tra tra trash. trash you can't, dude. So not only can you not call them a fucker, you <laughs> or, can't. You or can't shit. call them trash. No, dude, that's kind of that's kind of crazy. I wouldn't think trash should be on there. I think that's a misprint. You're not allowed to say trash. Wow. All we, right. I think we're awful people. Oh, uh, we are. All right. Me. Here's the third one. Mm -hmm. Only reason you went positive, you spent all all game camping. Try again, kid. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Try Dude, again, if, kid? If anyone ever said that to me online, I would just like... That's yeah. That's I mean. It's, I'd, be, I'd be like, oh. That's that's trash talk, though. I guess. <laughs> I, I guess. That's like healthy trash talk. So the trash Try talk version kid. is only reason you went positive is because you spent all game camping. K Y S kid. Oh, kill yourself. People say that. Let's kill go. yourself, I, camper. I, I've been banned for killing somebody to K Y S. Oh my they god. They bait me, Jonas. <laughs> they bait me. You know. You know. If someone sends you a message... I hate you little 14-year-old fuckers. I'm sorry. Wow, dude. <laughs> if someone sends you a message on Xbox Live talking shit, just don't reply. No, dude. You gotta tell Because what them. you gotta do? Tell us Briz Bros? I told TNT Dynamite on Xbox to fuck off oh, and he didn't do anything. Oh, that makes me so angry. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. All right, dude. We have That's another next. one here. It makes me so mad. Cheap win. Come at me when you can actually drive without running cars off the road. That only is fitting for an, a racing game, I guess. <laughs> I, w I would love to hear someone say that on Call of Duty. Take your car on the road, bro. And what you shouldn't say is cheap win. Totally expected from a racial slur. Oh, my God. <laughs> Can't drive racial slur. Like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Oh my god! Jonas, what's your favorite racial slur? <laughs> the nun? <laughs> the nun. Those aren't, those aren't a race. Oh, is it? The nuns aren't a race? No, but yeah, you should. I guess you shouldn't call people racial slurs on uh, Xbox Live. You or in person. Yeah, well, or ever. Yeah, it's probably not a good Yeah, idea. dude, I'm not a big fan of the old uh, racial, racial slurs. slurs. <laughs> I mean, call me old-fashioned, or jo wait, call Jonas me new is, school. Jonas is, is, is down <laughs> for the calls. I Hell yeah, dude. It. Fucking, I don't, I mean. TNT Dynamite approved. All right. I like being approved. <laughs> All right. We got one more. This is what Microsoft says you could say. Mm -hmm. That sucked. Get good and then come back when your KD's over one. <laughs> <laughs> now, Jonas, this one, this one's odd to me. <laughs> but we're gonna. We're, I'm gonna say the bad version. All right. You know what this reminds me of though. What's first, uh, LFG for Destiny. It does. Like or nah, bra. KD 3.0 or nothing for Crucible, dog. Kind of. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> kind of. That's definitely what we used to put in LFG. <laughs> but this one's this one's kind of weird. It's you suck. Get out of my country. We'll let you back in when your KD is over one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Get out of my country. We'll let you back in, though, as long as your KD's up. So do you not picture, like, this weird dystopian future where, like, they have, like, TSA people checking your online KD or just kicking you the fuck out of the country? Like, they're like, sorry, sir, your uh, your, oh, your, your Destiny 2 KD is .76. <laughs> we're gonna Go have, home and play for a while. We're going to have to send you to Cuba. I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry, Cuba's uh, KD ratio is .75 and over. <laughs> You've made that cut. Yo, which company? Ha which company? Which country has the lowest KD, dude? Exception? Like, like you have to like have what? Like, what was the lowest cutoff? Yeah, no. Who? Which country would have the lowest KD to if we started in? the future where like your KD is how you got into each country? We established that America, you got to be one point oh and up. Oh, and Cuba is point seven five. And I mean, that's probably not right for Cuba. Who's got I, the lowest KD? I would say Canada have like a what? <laughs> It, hold on. It's only because they don't get involved in conflicts. So Neither does Switzerland. Yeah, them too. Oh. Anyone who hasn't been in war, dude, they got to be zero. France, dude. France has been in wars. Yeah, but France not would, lately. I think, dude, I think France would be like a point four. Wow. You got to be okay. over point four to All get right. in. All right, low bronze. That's not bad. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> That's not bad. It's I don't know. Bad. What about you? Who do you think would be no, low? No, dude, those are good examples. All I right, like cool. those. I'm just going to go along with you. I probably would have said Switzerland or Yeah, okay. Or I got you. So if you're out there causing a ruckus on Xbox Live, 
come listen to this episode and get some good ways to talk shit. Stop. Don't do the TNT dynamite way. Do the it dynamite the dynamite way. Do yeah. it the Jonas way. Yeah, dude. I'm all like, take your brother to get a better suit and then come back and play Rainbow Bright with me. And I'm like, fucking kill your mom. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. We have an update. <laughs> uh, moving on from death threats on Xbox. <laughs> Uh, I've so, been banned a lot. Yeah. Le- I bet he's like, head down, I've been banned a lot. <laughs> All right. Last week, we spoke about a brand new video game movie, because we know every movie based on video games has been top-notch. The- Doom, Street Fighter, <laughs> Super Mario Brothers, Turok. They don't have a Turok movie. I'm making that up. But if I made one, it'd be fucking garbage, too. Detective Pikachu? I don't know. Is that what we're I talking did see, about? I did see a headline that said there's enough spare footage for Detective Pikachu, they could make an R-rated version. Because I guess they have outtakes that are, like, adult. They probably will. Yeah, dude. Okay. Anyway. But uh, our favorite blue coin-collecting hedgehog. I love him, dude. Oh, dude, Sonic. <laughs> I'm a Sonic boy. Yeah, dude. Uh, You know, there was a little bit of backlash when... Uh, the movie was terrible. When he <laughs> looked like a mix terrible. between Gollum and Sonic and... Yeah. His precious rings. Yeah, we, we spoke Method. on... Method. Did we talk about it last week? Yeah, last week. About That's this, when it dropped. About this homunculus that they had in the trailer. <laughs> they, made, they turned him into Too a much. homunculus. <laughs> yes. He was like a... He's like Wu-Tang, like Villa Bang Bang said. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the director, Jeff Fowler, has put out a statement. Yes, he did. It says, the message is loud and clear. You mm. aren't happy with the design. You want changes. It's going to happen. Uh huh. The internet wins again, folks. Does it? No, because he's not going to put out a second trailer like he should. Jonas, you know what? What bothers me is that this movie's supposed to come out in like what two months? I have no idea. I'm not. I don't care anything about it to be honest. The, the, there's also this conspiracy is that they actually released this horrible trailer with a horrible soundtrack, a definite outtake from the movie of Jim Carrey yelling at people and he steals the best part of the fucking thing. Yeah, dude. They I did mean, this on purpose. Why? Because they have a better design. How would they be able to redo, they basically have to redo, possibly reshoot the entire movie with the improved No, dude, I don't think so. Because I think like they, they have a character model I mean, and I they could just change seems, the base character model. It just, seems like a lot of work when your movie has to come out in two months even with modern technology uh, a lot of people think that they did this on purpose they're just trolling to, just thank you really the internet wins again dude jeff fowler's an internet hero we don't know but all i know, what? I know it's sonic the movie. looked like a goddamn anorexic crackhead <laughs> now i gotta see it fucking te- he had human teeth <laughs> it was fucking weird yeah, dude, dude. It was weird it was. It but was now, weird. hopefully, he's going to look like a uh, a little more portly fella. Are you going to come and see Fuck it? Fuck no. <sighs> Jim Carrey, dude. Dude, it could have... Jim and Carrey. And it could have Elvis back from the grave playing Dr. Egbert. Jonas, are you going to see Detective Pikachu with me? Uh, no. Jonas, Detective Pikachu, I Ryan Deadpool, Ryan Reynolds. Dude, oh, cool, man. <sighs> Dude, you Wouldn't know you me. you want to watch documentaries? I, yeah, dude. <laughs> I'll watch a documentary on how to get a, a band by, on Xbox Live by watching you play for a while. <laughs> so I see that every day. I, I could teach you right Yeah, here, you could teach me everything I need to know. All right, so now we got, like, real stories. Right? Yeah, yeah, dude. I got some stories. You want to rock, paper, scissors, these? Yeah, fuck yes. It's only a... <laughs> fuck yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Wait, 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 <laughs> ah, you son of a bitch. I won the first few. Now you're fucking in my head. Dude. <laughs> let's talk about. Oh, God. Let's talk about Coachella. Familiar, All right. You familiar Dude, with Coachella? I heard of it. You heard of it? Dude, I, they had put the Tupac hologram out a few years ago. <laughs> well, there was a report that came from Coachella that apparently 250 new cases of herpes we're just springing up, dude. At that coach, like people were out there raw dogging with the herps. Two hundred and fifty cases. Holy and shit! Like at think, the nurses' tent. I, th- I think like it, it was a total of one thousand one hundred and five cases for the entirety of Coachella. Does it pop up that quick? That, that's the thing. This story was uh, circulating all over the internet, and it was through a, an app called Herp Alert, where <laughs> you can just like take a picture of your your junk, send it to Herp Alert, and they say. Yeah, that's herpes. And then, and then they would give you uh, 
they would give you prescription medication and you could start taking stuff for it. Okay, but like, okay. Mm-hmm. It's like, so like if you, like, so if you had sex at control. Coachella with a unprotected sex with someone who has the herps with a herpy out and ready to go. <laughs> like out and ready to go. Yes. It, like it forms that fast. That's the thing, Jonas. It doesn't. A lot of people were looking at Coachella and they were given like this whole uh, festival a bad name. Like man, everybody there got herpes. Herbella, shit. yeah. Yeah, herbella. Yeah, dude, right. But it takes two to twelve days for symptoms to show of herpes. Oh, okay. So is this like they were treated after Coachella or like during what, Coachella? What this is, is this is a bunch of people with herpes realizing that they're going to Coachella saying, you know what? Let me handle this shit so I can go bang it out at the Coachella. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But the, uh, <laughs> the data that her pol- <laughs> I'm, I'm just You're not going to cheer for that? Dude, I don't. I, it's, it's like I can't, subjecting I, people I can't to be herpes? a hype man for fucking... <laughs> For spreading STDs, dude, I, any kind. I don't care what it is. I understand. All I right, do. okay. So, but it turns out is that the herp alert information was actually based on a lot of different factors. It was web cert, well, web website searches for it. It was also people ordering medication. Okay, which, which I say there will definitely be right. an increase if you're going to a festival and you want to bang it out. You don't want your herpes getting in the way, and if you can get rid of it, dude, you're you safe, don't right? want your herpes getting in the way. Yeah, dude, you don't. Okay, so it's not that all those people contracted herpes at Coachella. It was it's that just... many people with herpes went to Coachella. <laughs> <laughs> Closer to that. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. How but, does this affect like to, the hologram Tupac? Do you see that video from like ten years ago at Coachella? Yeah, dude. Where they fucking had... like vaguely. I remember it was like poorly done. Though. No, it was really well done actually. Was it? Yeah, he was dancing around. He had a chain on his neck. It was swinging and shit. No, I didn't Snoop... see that. Dude, it was good. That's... He sings uh, "Hail Mary." I, I mean, like, I understand that, but he is dead, so... Like, oh, yeah, dude. Like, if I was dead, I don't want somebody with a, a, a hologram of me just dancing dude, around. Dude, you like, know let what? Me, let me rest, I'm not gonna man. lie. Let me rest. If they ever put on a show that was Nirvana concert with a hologram Kurt Cobain, I'd probably go watch it, dude. I yeah. wouldn't pay, like, 80 bucks to go see it. Look, but... of course I would go and watch it, but it's just kind of disrespectful to a dead person to just have their corpse up there in a no, hologram dude, he form. was, like, dancing around like he really... looks like they took... <laughs> I get it. Was still. Yeah, dude, you I don't know. You want somebody parading your dead ass around? <laughs> dude, that would be awesome. Doing the podcast in <laughs> hologram form? Dude, you could sit next to my hologram and be like, oh, dude. and I'd be like, you know, we can fucking slap nothings. Yeah, no, <laughs> slap nothings. <laughs> yeah, that's never <laughs> slapping whatever. <laughs> There's uh, a joke in there somewhere. Yeah, dude, I'll There's slap one. nothing. There's one in there. So, have you ever heard of uh, AirPods? I have a one song. You got me some? Did you get me AirPods? I, surprise. I got you AirPods. No, I didn't. So, as you know, mm-hmm. they are uh, Apple's wireless headphones. I'm aware. They have... They're pretty good, I hear. They have uh, uh-huh. some things that are... <laughs> no. They are very good. They are wireless. They hold a good charge. Wireless is the part I like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, basically... There's a there. They got some other features on them that, that aren't widely known. Oh, okay. We dude. found this out by accident. Man in Taiwan, he fell asleep. Have you ever fell asleep before? Jonas, <laughs> go move the story. All right. <laughs> so he wakes up. Before. He wakes up a little bit later and he goes, <laughs> "Fuck, man, I'm missing an iPod." I don't know how, if he speaks English in Taiwan or if he speaks Taiwanese. I don't know exactly. That's a good I don't point. know the dynamic. You don't know. You don't know. So. What does a man do if you can only find one of your uh, ear pods? I have ear pods, whatever they're called. Air po- you would look There's for it. a feature called Find My AirPods. Shut the fuck up. You uh, you uh, set off the thing. It goes beep, 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 beep. Shut the and, fuck up. And bro. you find, this isn't the feature that people don't know That's about. That's ingenious, though. So this man, he starts setting off his Find My Thing thing. Uh-huh. And uh, lo and behold, he's like, I keep hearing the beep, but I can't find the goddamn beep what is going on so he's walking around his house whatever he all of a sudden realizes the beep is coming from inside him what are he eating or something so he, he goes to the er was and, he sodomizing himself no no no, no, no. <laughs> he goes into the er and he gets an x-ray and lo and behold it's in his stomach so somehow 
while he was sleeping, it went into his mouth <laughs> and got swallowed and ended up inside his body. I think so, some more shit happened. What do you mean some more shit Dude, happened? Dude, how's it going to be in your ear and then get in your mouth? If you've seen one, they're not small. I mean, they're not small. I mean, and, and you do eat eight spiders a year. Yeah, dude. I mean, <laughs> spiders are pliable. These are fucking, like, pretty rock solid. But anyways. Like, he must have been having, like, one of those dreams where he was eating, like, a, <laughs> he a was... Jolly Rancher or something. <laughs> and he just... like, nyum, nyum, nyum. <laughs> okay. God damn it. Snoop Dogg never tasted so good. Um, so, the, the doctor goes, all right, man, we got two options. We can cut it out. Or you can see if it passes. Oh, dude, but it's not going to... It worked. So... It worked. The dude, the dude waited. <laughs> the dude worked, waited, though, and the dude. next day he passed it. Shut the fuck it up. It still had 41% battery. What? It was ready for you. And it still worked. The man said he did clean it and still uses it because... You know, replacement AirPods are expensive. Dude, more like fucking that thing is a legend. Dude, would you would you wear poop pods? Yo, shout out to Apple. Yeah, I would. If it came out of my ass, I would. Not what, what if you want? This guy sold his poop pods. <laughs> so an AirPod can go through your the human digestive tract and not be destroyed. Yeah. It didn't yeah. even fuck up the speaker, I guess. Like, I would think the speaker would get... Like, I could see the yeah. plastic being okay. And it said that uh, the reason it didn't poison him due to the battery was the way it's constructed. The battery is, like, hidden inside yeah, 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 yeah. of it. So, you're, so, like, so they're waterproof, I'm assuming. I guess so. Yeah, I mean, if they're stomach acid proof, they fucking... They gotta be waterproof at least. Right? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Know. I don't know if that's written on the tin. That's a good story. I know, right? That's what I thought. That's I like what I that. talked about. You know, sometimes I find good things. Yeah. I mean, I'm trash 97.8% of the time. <laughs> but that 2.2, boy, I bring some <laughs> fucking fire. <laughs> So, <laughs> Jonas, thirty five percent from the line. Yeah, That's pretty. Good. I'm like Shaq, dude. I'm like Shaq and free throws. That's pretty good, though. Yeah. All right. So I got da 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 da. He's I got. My, I did my Coachella story, right? Yeah, yeah you did. did. Do you want to talk about it again? No. Hey, Coachella. <laughs> Let's talk about Canada a little oh, bit Oh, dude, here. I love Canada. We just mentioned Canada in a previous story. I know, and I got lightweight two Canada stories. Dude, they're gonna, they're gonna back to each other a little bit here. Gonna maybe. take them back to back. <laughs> I like that OVO, Drake, <laughs> Canada. Yeah, yeah. So, it all comes Canada, full circle. Canada just recently uh, legalized mar recreational marijuana. Yeah, use. dude, I've heard that. that. I've read about it on the yeah. internet. And uh, it turns out is that a lot of people want to jump on the bandwagon of being the first stores in Canada to sell weed. This is still going. I thought that happened in July of last mm, year. Yeah, it did, like, but they had to get the dispensary out. There's, oh, a, okay. lot, there's a lot of litigation. Right. It ain't that just goes. like it's legal and people are just like, here's pot. Well, I mean, a bunch of people had it already. It's not like it was hard to get. Yeah, dude, But getting these Canada. stores together takes a little bit of time. Um, they actually have a lottery for the licenses that they do, and they give them out to 25 people. Total? Yes. Wow. And not just in Ontario. So that's just one city. Oh, okay. That's cool. pretty good for 25 one city. fucking weed stores? You're telling me they're, they're gonna, those stores are going to do well. Yeah, dude. Each guess. and every single Ontario's one. Ontario's not a small place. It's not, but 25. Just, just to start out with. Well, it just turned out that 11 of these stores were fined $12,500 for not being open yet. <laughs> so they got this. <laughs> so they got, the, they got their, the hardest parts done, and they're just like... Nah, dude, I ain't getting this They didn't get their shit together in time. So that's almost half of the stores. They were supposed to be open by, I think I have a date on here. I do not have a date on here. But they were supposed to be open by a certain time, and they didn't meet So those other 13, 14 stores are, woo. Yeah, but they're going to be overran because half of the stock is not out there. Hey, man. So it, it, Find demand. But the <laughs> prices were high, dude. The they're prices? running out of fucking nugs. <laughs> It's going to drive up the price. God but damn it, it, it turns out that you can get fined for not selling weed <laughs> in, in Canada. In Canada. <laughs> Canada. Get fined for not selling drugs. I like but it. I thought that was a good story. Uh, did you hear about the trash in Canada? Trash? Yeah. Let's go with the trash in Canada. Uh, is that like a Brian Adams joke? <laughs> More like a Nickelback joke. Oh, singer. Oh, Kinder. he missed it. Eek. No, you want to give it? Eek. Give it. Eek. Get, Eek. Okay. Eek. All right. okay. No, no, now it's too awkward. Yeah, dude, it I'm is awkward. Stop. Quit right. touching me. All right. <laughs> so a, Canada, a, co a company in Canada sent 
uh, 103 shipping containers that were marked to be filled oh, with plastics for recycling. Yes. And they sent them to the Philippines because apparently recycling is a big thing in the Philippines. Yes. Like they reuse a lot of it in their community. Hey, it's... it should be a big thing everywhere. <laughs> Except these 103 shipping containers. And when I say shipping containers, I mean a large. The ones they build houses out of. Yeah. Yeah, dude. It so... had 2,500 tons of just garbage. Household trash, <laughs> kitchen waste. Used tampons. It, every, basically. Toilet Our baby papers. diapers. But, yeah, it was just, it's just trash. Condoms. Well, the president of the Philippines, this happened. Oh, that's the dude who's fucking nuts. He's already nuts. This actually happened in 2013, 2014. And yeah, yeah, yeah. He actually told them that he was going to go to war with Canada. <laughs> Over trash. If they did not take their trash back. And, no, John, it's, it's not just trash. It's not. It's twenty five thousand tons of trash. Wow, that's a lot of trash, man. Or two thousand five hundred tons. Wow, that's a lot dude. of trash. That's a lot of trash. Nobody wants. There's two thousand pounds of trash per ton. <laughs> that's crazy. Do you know what trash that is? That's a uh, five thousand pounds. That's of more trash. trash than you had even really within. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, dude, it's cool. I'm getting better. That's 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 how I gotta do it. But yeah, man, I heard about that guy. That dude is fucking nuts. That's the guy who like <laughs> talks about like he like he'll say shit like about like sexually assaulting people and yeah. like he says all sorts of fucked up he, shit. He ain't the nicest guy. <laughs> <laughs> that's one way to put it. But but Canada did take their trash back. What'd they do with it? They took it back. They sent it to the U.S. No, they didn't send it to us. Uh, They're taking their trash back. But I wonder what we could buy. How much we could buy that trash for on the dollar? What do you want to buy the trash for? Our our wait our uh, landfills aren't full enough yet. What? <laughs> we're trying to fill up the landfills, right? No, we're not trying to fill them. Oh. That's not the goal. Oh, okay. They're there for for purposes. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Yeah, don't 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 do that. I I'm trying to get the singe off my face from the evil within two burn you just gave me. There was a big one in there. Ooh, if you watch been watching, it ain't a lie either. Twenty five hundred tons of trash. That's about where I'm at. <laughs> Today's a big day in Denver. What happened in Denver, Colorado, Today Ohio? Today is Florida. a voting day. Okay. They are trying. Give me something. Today is the day they are voting to decriminalize mushrooms. Magic mushrooms. They already, wait, Colorado? Denver. Denver. That's Colorado. Yes. <laughs> so, okay, they, so it's already legal to smoke weed there. It's. Legal to recreate, yeah, their weed is recreationally legal there. Yeah. So now they're trying to decriminalize magic mushroom possession. <laughs> so, so basically, um, it would still be illegal federal and state level. Oh, of course. But they would no longer prosecute people if you get caught with it on your person, mm. unless you probably have like a large amount that looks like you're trying to. I mean, if you yeah. if you have like a baggie like this on you, that's not yeah. personal. Or if use. it's divided up, like yeah, you have scales and all that sort of shit. So it's usually like a an, an ounce or two ounces or something, something like that. Yeah, whatever. Um, but I guess Schedule One really says it has a high potential for abuse and no medical use, but. They're they're now they're trying to debunk that because there's studies that say that mushrooms can be used for PTSD yeah, along with ecstasy dude, things like that. All of this stuff. But like, okay, this yeah. high potential for abuse on mushrooms. Who's gonna be like tripping balls every day? Nobody. <laughs> nobody who's gonna abuse mushrooms. I don't think anybody habitually uses mushrooms. Right. I mean, I'm sure like, there's I always people a case. abusing coke and heroin yeah. and that shit. But who's gonna be like, you know what I need to do a day? Trip for 19 hours again. Yeah. There, there's definitely probably a case of oh, somebody sure. who abuses it, but it's not an epidemic. And right. that's the point. So why is it Schedule 1? It's not even a narcotic. It's like grown naturally in the fucking ground. Even acid, which is fucking man-made chemical, who's going to abuse that either? Like, I mean, come on. Dude, that's Big Brother telling you what you can put in your body. Grandpa man. Putin coming on in. Yeah, what can you put in your that's body? That's like, I don't know. What, what do you put in your body? <laughs> uh, so... Yeah. That just goes back to like it's like back from like the time around where they where, where they uh, prohibition mm -hmm. where they reefer madness where they really they like scared everybody about drugs back in like our grandparents' day to be like if you touch any drug you will die <laughs> essentially <laughs> so everyone's like fear mongering dude it's like it was like the yeah. terrorism of like then they're yeah, like yeah. oh my god if you let anyone into your country everyone's gonna die like you know what I mean if you touch a marijuana <clears throat> stick. Yeah, you're gonna it's, have to it's, perish. It's definitely an infrastructure that's built on 
like just archaic mindset. Oh yeah, dude, like absolutely. just xenophobic, afraid of everybody, and just not even giving substances a chance, or just <laughs> right. just being afraid of them. I don't know, man. So I don't yeah. know, man. I, and I guess I didn't know this about Denver. They decriminalized weed in 04. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, so they yeah, decriminalized yeah. it what 15. 15- 13 years before they legalized it for recreational use. So they weren't even prosecuting people for weed Mm -hmm. back. They they were revolutionary. Back when I was a young buck. One of the first to do it. Yeah. One of the first. I was one of the first to do something one time. (laughs) Was it smoke weed? No, I'd have never done that. Jonas, I can see a cigar in your mouth right now. Dude, that is a, that's just a, it's a visual aid. That's a blunt. (laughs) That's a, that's a celebratory. I have one too, I think. Does your mask have one? Yeah, dude, doesn't it? What are you, you gotta look on the screen. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Both of us, we're very, we're all, we're all fucking. Don't smoke, kid. We're all zooted up. Stand up to tobacco. You got another story, man? No, you got one though. I told two in a row because they kind of tied into each other. And I oh yeah. All time. right. Uh, you do one. you want? I got, dude. I got, look at this. That, that, that. These are all stories for y'all. Uh. <laughs> I just, I got a fucking grab bag of well, pick, lovin's. Pick one there, you Captain Hook. You want something Hook? tragic? No, pick them up. Like no, a no, no. Hold on. We can't do all. Oh, now they're all not ready. <laughs> they're, they're they're not percolated yet. <clears throat> isn't it, wait, isn't this your third story? No, dude. We're I, we got all our stories done. Oh, did we? Yeah, that's what, what I told you. When we have one. the same story, we can't fucking counter the stories. Pick one. Dude. All right, dude. You want tragedy? <laughs> More tragedy? No, dude. Let's go violence. Pal- palate cleanse. Oh, I don't have a dude. What all right, I violence. Have? I like violence as a palate. <laughs> all right. I like okay. violence for dessert. This story comes <laughs> from uh, Pennsylvania, Florida. Florida. Uh, yeah, Pennsylvania. Might as well be Florida. Yeah, I get you. Um, have you ever bought potato chips at the store? What is my favorite chip? I didn't ask you what your favorite was. I asked you if you've ever bought any. Well, yeah. Oh, okay. Of course. But now you got me thinking what kind of chips I like. I like the Flamin' Hot Cheetos. Boom. Dude, do you see they have Flamin' Hot Doritos now? Yeah, I think they've had those. No, though. those are new, dude. That's new? fresh off the goddamn press, dude. Fresh out the grease. They had the flaming hot little triangles in those bag of munchies. Though. Yeah, that's dude. what. Yeah, it yeah, is. yeah. Mini, mini, mini Doritos. Yeah, yeah, so dude. Now they just got full fledged. Dude, full fledged. Fucking flavor triangle. Dude, I will fucking put a flip. Dude, nacho <laughs> cheese Doritos. <laughs> Calm down. That's where it's at. Nacho <laughs> cheese Doritos. Yeah, they're up there. They're they're probably my, my number one. Okay. I can't help myself. Fair. It's like once you pop, you can't stop like Pringles, but it's like you open up that bag of Doritos, they might as well be in a vacuum. <laughs> <laughs> what? All right, nothing, dude, nothing. I'm glad you're passionate about <laughs> things. <laughs> so, uh, uh, here's a man. We don't have his name. We'll call him uh, Sasquatch Johnson. Sasquatch Johnson. He was. He went to the store to buy some of his favorite chips. Some mm-hmm. Lay's. Mm-hmm. Some Ruffles. Mm-hmm. Some Rita's. He was buying some all- Funyuns. Mr. Johnson was having a party. Yeah, I don't know what he was buying, but he was buying chips. Uh-huh. He uh he start he gets up to the counter. He's like, "Hello, kind sir. I'm so mm-hmm. glad you're here to put my." belongings into a plastic bag so I can take them home to my party. Uh-huh. Is that, I mean, isn't that how you talk to the cashier? No. Oh, okay. What do you say? I mean, I'm going along with whatever you say. Oh, okay. I, I, right. I do not speak so like that. So, the clerk... How do you speak? <laughs> <laughs> with my mouth? Oh, okay. What do you want from me? I want you... To, I'm just asking how you speak, friend. <laughs> Don't ask me questions. Right, no, I'm just enough. kidding. Go. So, the clerk... Fucking, he didn't give no shits about his chips, dude. Na- Starts throwing them in the bag. He broke his chips. <laughs> That's what happens he's when put he the throws. chips in first. Starts putting other shit on top. Jonas, Canned goods. I'm about to fight you right now. <laughs> Just tell Canned him. Canned goods on top of his Doritos. No. Smash it, dude. I hate when people smash no. my bread. No. <laughs> you can't do so that. So Sasquatch Johnson goes, excuse me, young man. I would like you to stop defecating defecating <laughs> defecating my chips were you about to say that uh, no defacing my De- chips desecrating desecrating my chips god damn it my brain english major uh to which <laughs> to which the man looked at him and continued to throw his shit into the bag mm. that's where i got defecation from i was thinking yeah, throwing shit but fine. you know whatever you got it so as uh as as the man was walking out he asked him numerous times as the man was walking mm-hmm. out the guy, the cashier says something to the effects of, you got a problem with me? 
So the man <laughs> choked him out in the fucking store over him crushing his fucking Doritos. He grabbed him around the goddamn neck and tried to take his fucking lifeblood. Jonas, do you who do you feel is in the wrong in this in this scenario? Ooh. Who's in the wrong in this scenario, Jonas? Uh, chat, who's in the wrong? Tell me. I need you to tell me. I want me. the chat to tell us who's in the wrong. No. Who, what do you <laughs> What do you think? Jonas, I think the guy who choked out the Dorito mishandler was totally in the right. <laughs> You think, yeah, you think if, someone, if someone's cold. disrespecting Yo. you, you can just choke him out? Yo, some people got to learn a lesson. <laughs> if all you can speak is dog, I'm going to fucking bark for you. You hear me? Wow. You can use that one. Cashier was in the wrong, see? I don't know if he went to jail, but he sure the fuck shouldn't have. But I'm not going to front. If somebody starts breaking my shit, I'm definitely going to be like, no, nah, take my Doritos out of there. Go get me some new bags. That's probably, Let me speak to your fucking That's manager. probably what I would say to you. I would probably be like, since you fucked up my chips. Yeah. Why don't you walk your ass back there and get me a bag that ain't broken? Dude, it's all about posturing. Like, is that dude going to fight me and lose his job and get a lawsuit? Or am I going to fight him and just get a lawsuit? Or is he going to walk his happy ass back and get you some more chips? Mm, so, yeah. Man, we should test that out. What? <laughs> you want to go beat up a cashier? <laughs> no, dude. I don't want to beat up anybody. Sounds like it. <laughs> oh, I have one more thing I want to talk about. It's what? not a palate cleanser. Are you coming out of the closet? <laughs> no. No. Dude, no, not okay. today. You can do it. Not today. Okay. You're a safe place. Just because you're touching me doesn't mean I'm going to like your it's, advances. You're in a safe place. <laughs> no. This is the safest place to do it, but it's not the time. <laughs> there was a plane that caught on fire. Oh, dude. In Russia, right? Yeah, I was going to make a joke, but that's sad. Yeah, dude. We got we to gotta talk about this. That's sad. So, ooh, some thunder out there, man. Wonder if the crazy town compound is going to flood. <laughs> they don't hear it. Yeah, dude. They it's don't hear there, it. though. Yeah, dude. It's here. <laughs> So, plane emergency landing on fire. There's videos on YouTube mm. people took inside the plane of, like, recording out the window. Plane on fire, on the outside, smoke, people screaming. Yeah, I saw the video. They land the plane safely. Ooh. Thank fucking God. The thing was in a ball of fly fire when ball it finally came to a yeah, stop. Yeah, right. So, of course, like, when it's flying, there's that much wind resistance. It's keeping it from engulfing, kind of, because the wind is so strong. Yeah. So, you land. That shit's like a matchbox. It's like, get the fuck out. Now, they're saying 41 people died. Tragedy. <laughs> they're questioning it. If so many people died because everyone on board was trying to get their luggage. Yeah. There's pictures of people going down the slide with their suitcases. There's people walking through the tarmac carrying luggage. <laughs> Meanwhile, the back of the plane is on fucking fire, dude. Yeah, yeah. And you're just like, oh my god, my eye book. Well, yeah, yeah, Jones, this is, this is pretty fucked up. By the way, we were supposed to have a palate cleanse and then go out, and now you just bring the sadness. But, yeah, no, let's, let's, let's it's just fine. Blow so, the okay, so, now, uh, Jonas, look, people are gonna panic, and I don't, I don't know if any more people would have survived if the luggage hadn't been taken because there's always an optimal path, but. Well, when I mean, they're going out the emergency exit down like the little inflatable yeah, raft. Yeah. Now, my it's, first ugh. thought of this was mm. like. God damn these sons of bitches. They were, they were terrified. Well, well right. <laughs> I mean, I know they didn't do it on purpose. I would but, literally be shitting a brick. Well, right. I mean, no one, everyone's in shock. No one's thinking straight. You're like, I'm getting off the plane. I need my luggage. I'm not grabbing my luggage. <laughs> but my whatever. thought was, when every time I fly, I carry like a book bag. I don't use a traditional carry-on. Yeah. And that shit's usually under my seat. So if I'm getting off the plane and I can easily grab it on my way through... And not hold anybody up. I'm probably going to grab it and take it with me. So just because these people had their purse or their luggage doesn't mean they took it. Dude, if you're carrying like a whole fucking like a, it's like carry a book bag, on, dude, you can literally grab it. And I walk. mean, I understand what you're saying. Like here. what I'm saying, like, though, like but, the people in the yeah. images had like suitcases. Oh, was it? I didn't see that it was actual suitcases. Oh. Like, see, we don't know if they were taking them out of the compartments. But, dude, all I know is that if this plane is on fire, I'm trying to get the fuck out of that I'd thing. I'd rip the wind. Dude, I would, you would see fuck me. Fuck my luggage, Goddamn man. Arnold Schwarzenegger, the fucking window out. I would be <laughs> I would be kicking windows. I'd be doing anything I could, man. Is Arnold known for breaking dude, windows? He's known for the power and the fury. <laughs> all right, cool, I guess. <laughs> What? But yeah, I'm, I mean, definitely, I'd be concerned about my life over anything else. And if there's ever a situation that anybody else is in, Man, get yourself safe. Get your loved one safe Dude, first. You can get a new iPhone. Yes. You can get a new laptop. You now, can... if I was on the plane with with un 
edited, unreleased Crazy Town media footage. I don't. Yeah. I'd let it burn. I'm what? It'd be the lost episodes. <laughs> <laughs> what? Are you dude? saying you had the footage in your bag? You no, it was like like I had them on the laptop, but I hadn't uploaded them to YouTube yet. Oh. Like it was like the hidden gems. Like oh. I would let it go, man. But other than that, you got to get your shit. No, I'm just saying, like even if you have something you can't replace, oh, let it okay. go. I get it, man. Yeah. Yeah, you got to convey that better than me. Yeah, I know. I got you. I didn't want to come you. across as cold hearted. No, I get. <laughs> Well, Jonas, we are joking about something I'm else. Not I didn't make one joke. I made jokes. No more jokes. So I'm the asshole again. Yeah, maybe. All right. I, Don't you like, save yourself. All right. We're almost done. I do have a palate cleanser, though. I want to save it for the end in case we needed it. You are coming out? A Florida woman instead of Florida man. Oh, you're not coming out. A woman was driving as a passenger in a vehicle. Mm -hmm. Gets pulled over by the ossifers. Mm -hmm. Comes up to the car. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, what are you laughing? Nothing, dude. Let's go. Do your thing. I like it, dude. Keep it going. She, he's like, blah, blah, blah. License <laughs> registration. He goes, ma'am. This guy's good. Is there anything <laughs> else that you have on your person? Bitch pulls out a one foot alligator out of her what, fucking yoga dude? pants. Come on, dude. Florida, shut the Florida stop. Cut <laughs> she also off. had three baby turtles in her yoga pants. We got to engineer a way to get, like, utilize plate tectonics to sever Florida from the states. We just like the little out. penis part of the pants. Yeah, dude. Too. Just, all, no, dude. The whole thing. It's got all got to go. Okay. It's got to go. So they'll just be its own little, like, penis island in the fucking <laughs> in the Atlantic? My only worry is that it, the, the tumor that is Florida, the malignant growth, yeah. hasn't already infected the other southern states, so it would just continue. Oh, upward. it would just, like, Florida, or, like, Mississippi, Georgia, <laughs> Alabama would just become Florida, too. Like and then it would be bigger than it is now. Like a rash of herpes over America. Oh, God. But yes, dude, I mean, who doesn't have an alligator in their yoga pants? Dude, dude, Florida, stop. They said they were going to get crawdads, and they found something else. And why would they bring it home, dude? Dude, they want a gator. I don't understand why people play with animals, dude. Just let them live in the fucking world, dude. Live in the world, dude. Yeah. That's all he wants why to do. Why do we gotta fuck play with animals all the time? So, doesn't that bother when you? you see gator pants in the title of this episode... <laughs> You just found out why. Gator pants? Oh, put... you, gotta, you gotta wait till the very end. Yeah, dude. Everyone's gonna be like, where the fuck is gator pants come from? After we That's it. After we discussed national tragedy. Aw, uh, you know, you gotta hang out. You know, good things come to those who wait. Mm, okay. If you wait to the end of the Crazy Town podcast, you get gems like that. Good job, John. And also, Jones got... and BMT talking to you. <laughs> you got and it. And saying... You got it together. That is all the time that we have for today's episode. Please... Make sure to like us, share us, subscribe, fucking follow us on twitch.tv forward slash crazy town media live. If you're not watching us live, YouTube, crazy town media, all social media, TNT. You can't see TNT unless you're watching a replay or watching us live. Mm -hmm. But for Jonas, yep. for this guy, TNT, TNT. we. Oh, fantastically! Oh.